Welcome Here's to a state, state of, of mind. mind. All right. Welcome to the comedy show. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we are going to talk about home improvement projects and which um, which projects that you can sort of work on um, that have the biggest return um, money wise uh, for your investment. Yes. Yeah. So. So the biggest thing. Is a kitchen remodel. Yes. Um, that's the most extensive project. It um, is. But a kitchen remodel, and I know that you've said in the past, if you're looking to sell your house, right. don't redo the kitchens. Don't I've said redo it. the baths. But if you're if you're long if you're there for a long term, a couple years at least, and you really want to build up your return on investment, um, a kitchen remodel is it could bring up to an eighty percent return. Absolutely, which would be great. Yeah, and it's so is it's a it's a, it's a no brainer for the first thing. It is a no brainer. Yeah. Keep it simple and keep it chic and make it look great. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Keep it neutral. Agree. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So what what's another one? Okay. Like, Bathroom. Yeah. Remodeling your bathroom. Yeah, that's another really important one. Yeah. Okay, you guys, and this can a, a bathroom remodel can add up to a sixty percent return mm-hmm. on your investment. Yeah. That's a, that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. The bathrooms are key. So kitchen and bathrooms, I feel like the buyers, that's what they want to look at. That that's the that's their go to because okay. everything else to them is sort of cosmetic. Yeah. Um, and speaking of cosmetic, we had just talked about basement basements in a prior episode and um, but a basement remodel can bring up to seventy five percent return. <laughs> um, that's a really that's a it's it, it goes overlooked by so many people because it's it's great to have storage, but nowadays it's an extra guest bedroom it's an extra family room it's an extra it's just more space i agree more livable space the only problem i think is that it really the square footage down there can't be counted in the living area um full square footage number that we always come up with right because it's below grade but yeah i mean so okay i'm no, i'm not a basement person i'm not and i have i have a redone basement i have a bar in my basement Ooh. We should be but living down there. We should be but doing our shows from there. We will do that next week. Um, but, Stay tuned. You know, I'm just not like a huge basement person, but I am working with so many people right now mm-hmm. that want to finish basement. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times I'm like, but you're looking at, you know, 4,000 square foot houses on the east side of Pro- Providence. Why? I mean, you need a basement too. That yeah. needs to be redone. But you know what? People love it. Again, for kids to be able to, it's you know, have the kids down kids. there. And then, yep. the, you know, they just, they want to be away from everything. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And I think, too, with COVID and, and the way people are living now, they want more people in the house, but they want more space to be away from each other. It's so, true. Um, I was over, there was a house for sale last year on Intervale, and the basement was so over the top. It had a full bar, like a, like a professional <laughs> bar. It had a screening it. room. Wow. How amazing is that? Yeah. And an entire like pool room that was like, um, w- pool tables are huge here, just so you know. Yeah. I don't even know how to play pool. Well, we'll have to get you playing. Okay, we gotta, I gotta learn how to play pool because pool's huge. Yeah. Um, so many basements here um, look like you are in, I can't, I'm not even gonna be able to think of a movie about pool playing, but like, it, yeah. they look like professional pool halls. Yes, they do. Yeah. And they're very 70s-ish too, you know, yeah. like the paneled walls and yeah. the, the carpets and it's really kind of funky. Totally. But it's always a surprise to go down there and see. It always is a surprise. I'm always like so impressed. Well, remember the house that we just sold recently in oh, Pawtucket? Amazing. We had a good friend of ours um, So house, over the top. And it was over the top and the basement was the same way and that bar was in Insane. It so was insane. Really fun. And the other really fun thing about that specific basement was when people found out that Heidi and I were um, working on the sale of it. Uh, like everybody <laughs> from like my dentist to yeah. um, to just anybody, people at CVS, like every single person was like, "I've been to a party at that house." <laughs> Everyone, Guaranteed. and it made perfect sense because this right. house was a it was so beautiful, but then it also had this like incredible. Like you know, basement that was just—it literally looked like you were in a club. Well, and the whole the whole house itself was that way, you know, decorated know. so beautifully, and then you just go down into kind of like this whole different yeah, I know. atmosphere. Yeah, it was very and chic upstairs. It was. Yeah, yeah, it was very it was New really England fun. wasp upstairs, and then sort of you go downstairs, and it's like this um, yeah. very cool. Really, yeah. 
Um, really fun. You know, yeah, very cool. Loved that. All right, yeah. so what else? All right. Um, okay, attic insulation. What about that? Do you know that attic insulation um, can add up to 100% return on your investment? Now, here's another thing. Do you know that in your heating bill every single month, a, there's a little tax in there? And the tax is going to this program that's really cool where they will come to your house and for free, they will uh, re-insulate your attic. Um, they will change out all of your bulbs to um, to yes. the bulbs are, that, yeah. Are you talking about Rise Engineering? I am. Yeah. I'm talking about Rise They're Engineering. Fantastic. They it's are a, it's incredible. Fantastic. I tell everybody who buys a house to call yeah. Rise. You must. And call you it must, immediately. Actually. They'll yeah. come over and yeah. they will re-insulate your attic for yes. free for $0 yes. and zero zero cents. Yeah. That's how much it costs. Yeah. They are the best. What about another one? Um, so a lot of these older houses that we work with, as you uh -huh. know, have these old crookedy windows. Yeah. Um, this place here has them. Uh, but replacing them will give you an 80% return. And it's worth, it, it's so worth it because I can tell you right now, being in a building with these old windows, and it's been really cold. It yeah. has been freezing. My bills are are oh, astronomical <laughs> yeah. heating right now um, because of that. And, you know, I'm not going to put the plastic stuff over my windows or whatever. So, no. and that's another thing that buyers look for. I have a number of buyers that will walk through these older houses. They fall in love with the house, but they look at every window and it has to be replaced at some, at some point and they don't want to do it. Right. So um, you're going to get an 80% return on that. Um, and I also think that if you are going to replace your windows and you're going to get an 80% return, do it yeah. because you're going to save on your energy bills. It's um, also the new windows that they're putting in are so spectacular. They're amazing. They look great. Yeah, they're really beautiful. Especially if you're in an older house like many of us are, where yeah. you have like the weighted windows and then one weight breaks. And oh, it's, impo it's like look I, at the thing over there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess. You know, what? it's a beautiful disaster. Yeah, it's a beautiful disaster. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Great. Yeah. All right. What next? What's next? Um. Okay. So now we are going to talk about um. What about if you added a deck? Mm -hmm. How cool would that be? Mm -hmm. Um. So you could you know be out there in the spring and the summer. And the a deck fall. is a is a win win. And how much of an investment? Seventy percent return. That's amazing. That is ama it is amazing. It's amazing. A seventy percent return. Yeah. And guess what? And it's you such a simple use, thing. And you get to use it yeah. before you before you leave That's the house. Right. It's awesome. Right. It's such a great thing. You can have a little cocktail party out there. Yeah. You know, p play some music but not too loud. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a cool one. Um, replacing garage doors. Now most people yes. think, oh God, it doesn't matter. It still works and it's whatever. But if it's unsightly, you definitely want to replace them if they're not working correctly. But Guess what? It's a hundred percent return investment on garage doors. Okay, that's just Which like is a no-brainer. A complete no-brainer. Yeah. And not only that, but I have become garage door obsessed. <laughs> and there, and this at this at this portion of the uh, show is putting you to sleep because you're like, I don't care about garage doors. <laughs> Open your eyes, people, because guess what? Open there are the some of the, the coolest yeah. garage doors yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Yes. My new favorite are the ones that are steel and glass. It almost looks like you're like in a 1950s garage. Oh, yeah. They're like very, amazing. Very cool. I mean, I suppppose you have to have like a Lamborghini in your garage because everybody's gonna well, see it, but it's like amazing. <laughs> they look so good. Like I love them. Yeah. 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 And the other thing is if you're living um, in a historic district, you just have to be careful about I mean everything has to be approved obviously there, but um, but for the most part, it's 100 percent, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. And what are we gonna end it on? Well, we have one last one. Yeah. And it's another good news. It's a piece. really good yeah. news one. Yeah. What and it's it? something you can get creative with. This Landscaping. Is... Yeah. One hundred percent return on your investment. Mm -hmm. That's that's considerable. And so this goes back to when you and I had been talking in another episode about curb appeal. Yeah. And how your clients, some of your clients will they'll pull up to a house and they'll drive right by it because of the curb appeal. Yeah. So the landscaping is a complete that's another one that's just a come on everybody. It's a no brainer. It. And so you know, easy. you it's it's also like it's sort of like an artistic endeavor. It could be for you. Like yeah. you don't like to landscape. Totally. Like I don't I don't like I'm to. not good at it. I don't have a green thumb, but I, I appreciate but you are it. good at pointing and, and saying that with you know you're you're artistic that way right, right? 
But you know, <laughs> Poor Jeffrey, I live I live down in like sort of the um, the Elm Grove Blackstone area, and the, it's some of the most beautiful landscaping that I've ever seen in my entire life. And the incredible thing is, is that so many people are doing it themselves. They really are. And well, it's also it's so. It, they're good at it. They're really good at it. They're really good at it. I'm sure they like they live in like giant houses. I'm sure they like run, you know, like blue chip corporations. But, also, but I always want to be like, will you come over and do my lawn after you finish yours? Because it looks so good. Yes. Yeah. It helps with curb appeal, and that's a really important thing. Yeah. Buyers. Get gardening. Get guard. <laughs> we should get gardening. You know what? Let's try it. All right. I feel like this I'm is gonna be it. the spring one that we try it. Let's do an episode in your garden. Okay. And um, we can have uh, Louis, your dog, help us. That's right. Of... We can. Yeah. He'll just chase squirrels away from us. <laughs> so we don't get get but you have a little rabies. fountain and pond in your I backyard. Do. It's, it's a lot. really cool. You have to see city. it. I mean, you hear about it and it sounds crazy. No, it's really neat, actually. People we'll do, do tend to like out it. There. Uh, jury's still out for me, but um, I yeah. love it. All right. um, anyway, okay. What's your um, what's your um, Rhode Island pick for this week? Okay, so it's a favorite. I think of what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a favorite for many people, um, and it's kind of an obvious one. But uh, Seven Stars Bakery. Oh, you guys, the best. I mean, there's a location in Rutherford. There are three locations in Providence and one in Cranston, and it's one's just... in Hope Village, our favorite place that we there can't we stop again. talking about. I know, I know. <laughs> But it's so, it's great coffee, it's a great atmosphere, you're always bumping into people that you know, the Strip. food is amazing, and yeah. it's just a quick, nice little comfy go-to. And a lot of people are, you know, bring their laptops in there and work there all day, and that's your second office, <laughs> so. I agree. It's so much fun. It is so much fun, and it's like, it's just, it's really cool, and the people in there, they have like, very, very cool people that work there, and yeah, um, yeah and it yeah. looks great. And, and the it's... olive bread is amazing. All of their oh. bread, and they'll slice it for you, and it's just... It's uh, the best thing you've ever had. Amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, okay, what and so mine today is going to be... Um, I'm going to say there is... God, I'm always saying a restaurant. It's okay. No, you had a couple stores. All right. Um, I'm going to say, and this is a splurge, so I'm not going like, to, like, you know, make any bones That's about okay. it. That's okay. But um, the restaurant Bellini downtown. Oh yeah. Oh. In the yeah. Jane Hotel. It's great. It's amazing. amazing. It's really. We good, have to guys. go. We have to go there soon. We do have to go there. We should. Yeah. You know what we should do? One day we're gonna do a um, show from the bar. Yeah. We'll have to get there early so we don't like bother anybody. But yep. like we we'll should tape. Uh, um, you. It's so beautiful. It really and mm. it's so good. It reminds me of this restaurant called San Ambrose in New York. Really. And um, which is one of my favorite restaurants. And um, and I just love it there. And also you show up and you know tons of people and they're so friendly mm. and just so accommodating and lovely. And the food's amazing. The food's amazing. You guys, yeah. the best. Uh, it's like a meringue cake. Oh, yeah. nice. Right. Even if you hate meringues, you have to order this cake. Yeah. It's the best thing you've ever had in your entire oh, life. Awesome. Oh, that it's so awesome. good. So All good. Right. Anyway, well, you thank guys, you for Thanks for, for joining us. By. And um, do send us uh, an email. At, you can get in touch with us at a state of mind ri at gmail.com if you have any questions or if you have any show ideas or any topics that you want us to talk about or if you want to come on the show. related real estate related. Yeah, you know, totally. We're really we'll talk about, about anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Cheers, my dear. Cheers, my beautiful. Thanks, Bye.